Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Open Master League with Megas Allowed. We're gonna have a lot of action with 4 teams in total, analyzing their strongest assets, their core breakers, what you should be afraid of, what you are strong against, so you're gonna have a clear understanding of the teams and the meta while those Megas are gonna make the difference. Most of the times we're gonna use them at the backline while we're gonna see how crazily good those Pokemon are on the Open Master League format and it's always pretty fun to have a meta with Megas allowed. Now, without any further ado, let's dive into Team Showcase number 1. Mega Swampert is the new top ranked Pokemon for Open Master League. So we're gonna see it on the first team showcase. It makes no surprise at all as to why it is in here. And we're gonna pair it up with Tokyogis and Melmetal. About Melmetal, I really, I really like his standard moveset with uh, Rock Slide and Super Power. But to be honest, I had a lot of fun with Flash Cannon, especially surprising all those Zessians. And up on the lead, whenever I face something like Dialga, for example, they always get out of there because they are afraid of my superpower, nobody is expecting that flash cannon and most of the times against the fairies this move will be unsealed. So definitely uh, not uh, the top ranked Pokemon with flash cannon but still playable and you can surprise the enemy if you want to have a really nice nuke early on on that battle. As a closer here we got the Tokyogis and this one is pre pretty straightforward Pokemon with charm able to delete down anything. You want to keep some of the seals for the end game one or two in order to have the upper hand whatever it remains at the back so yeah Toki is a pretty cool option overall as a safe switch though we got the Swambert which is just gonna deal a lot of damage to anything even against its counters this mega earthquake is just gonna connect for big damage obliterating pretty much anything even when it is neutral hydro cannon still a spammy move you already know how cool Swambert is from the other two leagues so here on open master league it has the buff of being a mega so you can see it as a mega closer slash safe switch for any team out there but I think that on this team it is just gonna work much better than usual. As a core breaker here we got the primal Groudon which is gonna be added later on or by the time you're seeing this video might be already in the game so mega Groudon is gonna be or primal Groudon is gonna be part ground part fire able to resist those charms and also its typing is gonna help a lot against Melmetal but against Swambert obviously it's gonna lose a lot by that amazing Hydro Cannon dealing double super effective damage to that Pokemon and also the Matsos can be added up to more damage output over time. So this team is pretty magnificent, Primal Ground Don might be able to stop it but you are gonna see that there are still some really nice uh, nukes for this team in order to work against the entire Open Master League. Mega Gyarados used to be the rank 1 Pokemon of Open Master League when Megas were a thing. However, now with Mega Swambert having such a huge impact on the meta, you are gonna see that this Pokemon is gonna be kinda overshadowed. However, Mega Gyarados is still gonna have a lot of play, so here is a line that I think you're gonna like a lot. New to upon the lead, able to destroy down the enemy with Psycho Cuts and Psy Strikes, while you can use whatever you want as your second move, because even a Focus Blast or a Shadow Ball can definitely be pretty handy at certain situations, while Thunderbolt and Ice Beam can also help at some other scenarios. As a closer, we got the Dragonite, which now has access to super power now about a year now, uh, and it will give it coverage against those steel types, which is super good for the closing game. As a safe switch, we're gonna have the Mega Gyarados and the main star of the team able to get him there pretty clutch. I got the bite here only because of that possible uh, matchup with a Giratina or a Mewtwo, but to be honest, I think that Drango Breath is gonna be the much better fast attack because defensively, the dark typing is gonna help against those matchups and not the bite so yeah keep that in mind when you're making a choice on what you should run as your fast attack on your mega gyarados as a core breaker we got another mega gyarados because its typing is pretty good against uh, uh, the mewtwo obviously the dark typing and uh, you got the drango breath against the dragonite which is super effective while you get neutral damage however if you a pure superpower can still destroy it down a thunderbolt or a fox blast from mewtwo can still do a lot of damage much on that Mega Gyarados and to be honest you still got uh, the mirror match so having Drunk Breath on your own Mega Gyarados now has a much better understanding. Uh, so that's all for this team and now let's move forward into Team Showcase number 3. 
Up next, we got the Mega Charizard only to Y form able to go on a rampage against its counters, which doesn't care at all because even counters cannot stop this Pokemon. So you're gonna see here that we have one of the worst possible leads against Mega Gyarados and still we will try to ha somehow uh, overcome even this obstacle with our Charizard on the end game. So the safe suit here is gonna be the Alga. So against even a Mega Gyarados, which you have two Pokemon that you are mainly afraid of, uh, you're gonna see that the Alga can work as a very good safe switch and still keep your Charizard with the two shields for the end game because most of those Mega Gyarados are not gonna have Waterfall but instead something like a Dragon Breath or a Bite. So you're gonna be in a very good spot with your Charizard on the end game with those shields up. So preserving the shields and protecting your Charizard from those Kyogre matchups, especially the primal ones with your two Dragon type Pokemon, is gonna be the main asset of this team. And Shadow Charizard is, uh, excuse me, not Shadow. Uh, the Mega Charizard on its Y form with a new wing attack boost is just gonna be a very good uh, asset to your arsenal in the total uh, meta of uh, Master League Open with Megas around. Core breaker of this line, Mega Swampert, because it can go pretty well with its Earthquake against uh, uh, Dialga, has a solid matchup and can go toe to toe against Giratina, especially by landing one whole Earthquake, which does more than a half to the Giratina, which is crazy. And of course, uh, the Water Typing can always uh, be a much better Typing against that uh, Fire Typing of uh, Charizard, but still, you are gonna see that uh, Charizard can go toe to toe even against its counters when shields are. Are up, so I would not be that much worried about Mega Swampert when I was gonna use a team like this. Definitely a team that you have to try out if you have the resources because everything is gonna be Excel based, and yeah, a lot of resources will be needed for any team in Master League to be pretty useful. Final team showcase until we got the Mega Garchomp into play, well we're gonna have Mega Gengar for this line. Uh, so Mega Gengar is gonna be pretty amazing on the closing part, however it is gonna be extremely classy. It cannot withstand the damage and as you're gonna see in a while, even a cheap move something like an Aqua Tail will not be uh, much appreciated by Mega Gengar, but still if you can somehow get out of there with the shield advantage while they have no shields at all, well Mega Gengar is gonna be your ultimate closer because it doesn't matter at all uh, what it is facing on uh, Open Master League. It is just gonna dominate all those matchups. Up on the lead, we got the Garchomp, which is gonna be pretty good with Matsot, Earth Power and Outrage. Be sure that if you want to use something like a Santum, well, Dragon Tail might be your better fast attack because uh, you are just gonna keep pressuring a lot with your fast attack after that first debuff and it, that's all about uh, Garchomp. At the back, we got the Gengar and of course the Excadrill because Excadrill here as a safe switch, I like it a lot. Uh, this team might struggle a little bit against Kyogre on uh, its primal form, but still you're gonna to see that Exadril can still go toe to toe with uh, pretty much anything and you're gonna lose most of the times but still you can pressure for that shield advantage which is the main asset of this team. Pressuring for the shield advantage, getting those shields for the end game for your Mega Gengar in order to sweep the entire team out of existence and you can see that here we're gonna do exactly that. Core breaker of this line, yeah, Primal Kyogre uh, mainly because of the Exadril matchup it can also go uh, pretty rough with those waterfalls against the glass Mega Gengar, while they are pretty neutral, but still uh, Mega Gengar cannot withstand the damage from the waterfalls. While well, against Guard Zombie, this is kind of an even matchup, but still Kyogre it's, uh, is absolutely out bulking this Pokemon, uh, so definitely a very good one for the meta, the Primal Kyogre, when it gets out, or by the time you're seeing this video, it might be already out, you have to rate it for sure. So that's all about those teams, and that is gonna be a wrap, everyone, and thank you for watching, fellow trainers. Please consider liking the video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you want to support me even more, joining as a member might be the way to do it. Click here for the next video that might be of interest to you. Till the next time, take care trainers!